afternoon, Soul Family. I'm out on the lake because I had to come get some sage. It's kind of hard to get some sage at this time of year. There's not a lot of fresh sage. And as I was, I gotta, I, I'm gonna show you guys. Let's see if it happens. There's a dragonfly. Remember I told you I had the, the double-deckers? This was a trip, literally, for them and for me. You know, if I go, there's a lot over here in this uh, particular area, but a black ops trip, I call them the black ops. Because they're, they're the ones on the rescue mission, right? So what I watched, and he's right, it's right here. It came up close and I'm like, wow, rescue, right? No kidding, there was freaking, the one, the main one that was flying, and there was another one the same size, like the partner, and then there was the baby, literally facing in the other direction on their back. It was incredible. And what's interesting is I'm watching as the blue dragonfly is dive bombing the one who's carrying his family. So that's interesting. So let's watch. It's right there. I wonder if I can get up. If they came right up to me. The blue dragonfly is on, actually one, two, two, three of them are on the ass of the black one that's carrying his entire family. It's incredible. It's now, it's, it's resting on the water. Oh God, I want it to come up again. I've never seen anything like that. It's literally got its mate with it and the baby. And when they went down to the water, okay, you guys didn't see that, but I did, I saw what happened. It got down to the water and then the mate jumped off and took a drink and then jumped back up on, on, on the back of the other, on his partner. And there's another family right there. They're all flying together. Oh, that's incredible. They're black and the, the blue ones are, are always after the black ones. Why is that? Why is that? The black one's carrying his entire family. It's almost like they're, they're like, oh, there's the big giant blue one right in front of us. It's almost like the black ones are, um, it's like they're, oh, what are they called? Refugees, right? And the blue ones are chasing them out. Here comes the black one right in front of us. It's, it's the black and blue, they're against each other. Now that's interesting. So the emotional waters is what we're on. Oh God, there's the big family right there. Huge. If I go down on that dock, I wonder if I can, I'll get close enough or they'll get close enough for me so that you guys can see them. It's, it's incredible. As soon as dad gets down to the water where it can take a drink, mom jumps off, grabs the water, jumps back up on top with dad. And I'm telling you, the one that I watched, the baby was on the mom's back facing in the other direction. It's like that everywhere. The blue ones don't do that. Only the black ones. Only the black ones. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and hope I don't slide because I'm in my flip-flops. I was hiking my flip-flops. Whoa, I don't have my wall walkers on and it wouldn't help anyway in this sand. It's too slippery. But Spirit said, I said, should I be working right now? And they're like, get outside. So I guess we're doing our reading right here. Okay, there it is right here. If you guys got a close-up of that, take a picture and zoom in. I'll just stand still. It came right up for us to see. <laughs> that was incredible. Right here, right there. So there's dad and mom and baby. And look at the size of the blue ones. They're freaking huge and they're beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get down close to the water. Okay, here we are. There's the black hop family right here. That's incredible, right here. You know what's also incredible? Is the water flowers. I, 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 these are the plants. So this is how I used to do it when I was in Canada. I built a pond, right? And I went down I went down to the local waterway, which is literally a ditch. The water runoff, right? And I pulled out these little plants. They're just free floaters. And this is called duckweed, the little green stuff. It's beautiful. And that way it keeps uh, the goldfish shaded. Hey, butterfly. Keeps the goldfish shaded so they, they are not so hot in the summer, not to mention it gives them um, somewhere to hide, right? And I didn't feed my, my pond at all. I just went and I bought them stuff from their natural habitat. Remember what the old guy said when I was talking to that old guy? He's like, I want to um, bring back the natural habitat. And I said, build it and they will come, right? And they did. So I got, I got the duckweed. I got the, the, this kind of floating grass. And you see the little snail on top of that, on that grass right there? They need that, you need that too in your pond because it eats the algae. And the yellow flowers that come up. So all of this here is a natural environment, right? And I never had to feed them. They, they had their own habitat and they were good. It's like, it's like, uh, a time, it's like living off, off grid, right? You've got everything you need right there. And that's what the old guy wanted to build in his property. And that's what our father wants us to do too. 
you know? Grow your own. Build it and they will come. So these are the single. Now, why is it that the blue dragonflies are single? Not <laughs> because they're depressed. <laughs> they're depressed because they're, they're lonely. You're blue, that's why. That's why you're bugging the ones that are black because they got something that you want. Well, don't try and steal another person's partner. You know, they got their own freaking family. Interesting message, right? And look at the little, the little gold ones. Okay, let's, let's watch. Ooh, there's a blue one, pretty. There's the double deckers. Okay, watch when they come close, the black ones. They're, I, they're incredible to me. They're really tricky and they're freaking talented, God. Every time that black one tries to go down into the water to get a drink, the blue ones dive bomb it. Why? Why? You're trying to keep it all to yourself. There's one, there's a little family. It doesn't matter how big the black family is. It doesn't matter if it's a young family or if it's an older family, because you can tell by the size. Oh my God, there's a dragonfly sitting in the water and it's freaking gorgeous. The wings are huge. Holy moly. Oh, it just took off. Right there. And you know what? That was one double-decker blue family. What? It was a couple. Look at right there. They're going together. Okay, so they've learned how to do it. There's a couple. Can you see them? Oh, I know you guys can see them. Come on. They're right there. Yeah, you've figured out how to do it. There's green and blue in them. Hmm, so there's calm, peace, and there's healing. Now they did it. They did it. They landed on the water. You guys aren't going to be able to see it unless you take a screenshot right now. Okay, right there. They're sitting together. They're, they're, she in the back is getting something. She's picking something up from the water. Maybe she's laying her eggs. She's probably laying her eggs. And there they go up. Okay, so then they go. To, yeah, they're mating. They're definitely mating. She's stuck to him. Do you see it? Oh, you guys got to snap this. You got to take a screenshot to see this or zoom it in because it's incredible to watch. She, the blue one is in the front and the green one is in the back. He's mating with her. She's got her ass in the water. Hmm. That's incredible. I'm like, are they laying eggs? No, yeah, they are laying eggs. And there's the black ones. They're all breeding right now. This is the breeding grounds. Woo. That's what's going on. So what's going on? You're trying to bring about a new beginning and somebody's dive bombing you. The ones that are jealous. That's what's going on. Somebody's jealous. Some, remember yesterday in the reading or the other day? There they go. They're going to take off from the water pretty soon as soon as he finishes. There's a couple in. Those guys are doing it in the air. What I find it really interesting about that, though, is that I'm telling you, there's, there were three on the one that I saw. So they were having a three-way. I'm not into that, thanks. The blue ones are just two. <laughs> this is incredible. I've never had more, more fun than this. This is super cool. <laughs> There's um, really, really thin little blue dragonflies, and then there's the big, the big daddy ones, like the, what we just watched. They're still in the water together. They're still mating. Now that's interesting. So the big ones, the blue ones, they're, they're much bigger than the black ones. No, they're not, no, they're not. This couple is, because the first black ones, they were really, really big. So, and the single blue ones, the single depressed ones, the sad ones, were dive bombing them. They didn't want them, unless they were trying to come in and, and break up their see now there's a couple there's a single green one green and blue one. Oh my god this is a plethora of dragonflies remember that guy this is why he wanted this he wanted this to happen i'm like you know what I, I need to tell him you need to bring the duckweed over there it'd be so easy to build a natural habitat i've done it and in the winter the the the, the water would freeze and they're taking a long time to mate the water would freeze and they would stay underneath it they had all that they needed in their little ecosystem everything they needed just like if you had your own oh shoot I wanted to get down close to the water but I know if I slide down this hill I probably won't be able to get back up not with these stupid shoes on I should go barefoot I just wanted to get close enough so that you could get a zoom in on I am I'm taking off my shoes okay now if I make too much noise they might I might disturb them and I don't want to disturb their peace Walk gently in your wild nature, Sherry. Go gently. Okay, they're in the water. They're right there. This is incredible. I feel like National Geographic. Okay, see them? Did you see them? Oh, I'm sorry I disturbed you. Go ahead, go back down. Yeah. 
Now that's weird. I don't know if he's mating with her. I don't think so. I don't think so. He's holding on to her back and she's doing something. She's laying her eggs. He's holding on to the grass in front of her, see? And then he's got her by the back of the head. Like he's holding her up. And she's got her little ass down into the water. She's laying the eggs. So they're, they're, it's teamwork. They're working together. Oh, I love it. Good job, you guys. Look at their giant wings. Aren't they beautiful? So he's got a black, I mean a green body with a blue tail, right? Blue end. And she is, yeah, he's the male. He's, she's the same kind of color, but she's less vibrant. She has got her butt in the water laying the eggs and he's, and she's holding on to him. See? Teamwork. You gotta work as a team. Oh my God, I love this. I love this whole freaking reading reading okay so when I drove up there's a sign at the front of the park and it says no dogs allowed that's because I'm a cat right so I'm like okay cool but there was all these guys sitting at my bench underneath my tree that I always climb hi and they're like hey you know these young workers how are you and I'm like hey how's it going and I looked at the tree in front and it's all hacked up and I said you, you cut my tree to shreds and they said no that wasn't us that was the other team we're from and he names the place outside of our gates, right? And I said, you're not, it's the other team, what do you mean? And he says, we're not here to cut up your trees. And he says, we're at Audie Murphy Ranch. So we're there at the horse ranch. I'm like, oh, okay. They're not here to cut my tree that I want to climb. I said, cause I need to climb that tree. And they're like, oh, you're gonna climb the tree? They wanted me to climb it. And I'm like, yeah, I'll be climbing it after you guys leave for your lunch. Uh, and, I, and I said, they hacked up the tree in front though, that sucks. And he's, I said, they're probably gonna probably gonna attack the other one and he goes yeah you better get up there and climb it before they hack it down and I'm like okay and, and they said well where are you going and <laughs> a fish just jumped up right when I said that did you hear him splash um, I'm like I'm gonna go over and pick some sage and then uh, they backed out and then I decided to come over here and I saw all this stuff okay so hold on I gotta put you guys down my, my phone is filthy I gotta climb they're like, can you seriously climb this tree? And I said, yes, I do. Sorry, I didn't mean to, I don't know what you ended up seeing there. So, this is pretty cool. So, um, now I'm really excited again. I want to I want to build a pond. I want a natural pond. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, I didn't get very much sage because it's, uh, like I said, it's been hot and dry. Nobody waters it, so I don't have a lot to collect. Not from my bush, the one that I normally collected. Hello. There was, oh, I didn't even see your partner right on your back. Interesting. I'm getting all, I know the messages I'm getting and I'll be getting them more when I go back and listen to this. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try and get down this hill without sliding, there we go. We're gonna go back. And I probably have enough sage to make myself one one. <laughs> I could take off. I want to do our reading though. I could take off after the reading. And there's more sage up there, but it's close to those people's house. Yeah, I could go there. It's not, it, this is nobody's land. I don't think it is anyway. Daisy flowers everywhere. Hippie flowers. This is how we do it. Okay, so see, here's a tree. And sometimes you got, this is what happened. Remember I said the plant was trying to grow and it was diseased and I had to break, cut it off. So parts of the tree had to be cut back because it wasn't doing very well, like that red dead branch, but they wanted it to grow and they don't want it to, you don't want to feed the part of the tree that's not working, right? That's not healthy. So you cut it away, which could be, you think about that as a family tree, right? That family's top part of the family tree is toxic. It's dying, it's not growing, it's dying. It's dead, it's dead. So there's something that's dead. You gotta cut it away so that the rest of you can continue to grow. But this is my tree. So, um, barefoot, I gotta figure out how you're gonna, I, I've climbed with you guys, I'm holding on to you guys before. It's kinda tricky. Actually, you know what, I think I climbed and then started the reading. And now we're climbing together. Damn. This is not easy. All right. 
I don't have to go higher than here. This is good enough. Hey, hey, hey. So, I'm gonna hang this here. And you know how we're gonna read? I need a drink. 